Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you'd like to use Adobe fonts in Figma, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's quick and easy, so let's jump straight in. So the first thing you want to do to use these Adobe fonts in your Figma designs is you want to go over to fonts.adobe.com and here of course you will be able to search for fonts and you can check out what you would like to use in your Figma design. Now once you've found something you'll be able to add it to your creative cloud. All right now you do need a creative cloud subscription. This will not be for free. So if you are currently using any Adobe product and you have a subscription, you will be able to use these fonts. So for example, you'll see you can grab a font just like this. And what will happen is when you download it or when you add it to your creative cloud, which will be found over here on the top right hand side, you can hit this icon. It'll take you to all your fonts. Everything will be stored here. But this is not where you can extract it from. What you need to do is jump into your file explorer and you need to go over to user and you need to go into app data, roaming, adobe, core sync, look for plugins and then live type. Now in live type there's a couple options here and you're going to go into R. Now in this folder this is where all the fonts will be stored. So what you'll need to do is let's just do this and let's open this again. So what you'll need to do is essentially take the fonts that are in here and you are going to just drag it over to your desktop. And once you've dragged it over to your desktop, you are going to rename the file. Okay, so you can use the same file name that it currently has and you are going to just add on an extension dot OTF and this will make it a font. So when you're double clicking on that font, you will actually be able to open it up and install it onto your system and it'll look something like this. So once you open it up, this is what it will look like and you can click on install and then you'll be able to come over here into your Figma. Um, you can now just refresh your page and you'll be able to find it here in your text. 